big old blocks then. But as you can see, it's a bit out of plumb. Red concrete blocks. They're all tooled up. Hello. Good. Thursday, Alex? Yes. Thursday the 17th of August. Another new job. We sort of started a job yesterday of digging the concrete and then we're dropping on this and then we're dropping back on that. So it's a bit backwards and forwards, a bit sort of dodging the weather. This is our job for today, is demolish this and hope it fits in that 8 ton skip <laughs> looks a lot bigger now for looking at it again but yeah this is coming down we're going to check the foundation possibly um, take the foundation up and re-concrete it we'll see when we get to that I don't think he wants the copings I think we're putting a flat like the ones in Wigan flag flat yeah well weathered aren't they so um, yeah big old blocks then but as you can see, it's a bit out of plumb and cracked right down the middle. So it's time to go. So I'm going to set this camera up. I'm going to get my boots on. Don't fancy them dropping on my foot. And then I'm going to crack on. And today is super trial day. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes today. We keep an eye on the social media, see how that's going. So um, let's get you set up somewhere and start making a mess. Right, let's start off with a bit of normal action for a change. See how this thing's gonna come down. It's a little unorthodox, isn't it? What? It's a little unorthodox. It's jammed in so it doesn't lose it. So we, I mean. need, we need to start using the mic more. Because I keep getting complaints about the sound. You do, do it at the beginning then a little bit. Grow up. Hey. We're just told to grow up. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. So we've got the key to the gate. Right. Even anyone? Oh yeah. What a shame, isn't it? The pre-cast concrete aren't they just weathered? Yeah. smash these up in the skip to make sure we get them all in. Oh, we might have to smash these to make sure we get them all in the skip, you know. What the hell? Yeah. 
I'll uh, do my skip stacking for now and I'll see where we're at. Let's see where we get to yet. They look quite nice when it's built. Red block, black water. <laughs> heavy though, very heavy. And the tongue and groove. Tongue and groove block. Mm -hmm. Tongue and groove block. Very heavy. Ooh. Well, it's not going to be a pushover because it's locked. Up. It's all locked up. Tongue and groove. So it's going to fight us all the way. This. Ready meat to get gobbed up. It's got like a gob of water locking it all together. So it's just heavy going. I need to get the new blocks ordered. We need to get a skip order and do the job. And bricks and blocks. Yeah. Need to get everything ordered. Yeah. Right. Time lapse now because it's time for the radio. So see you in a bit.
after a wooden fishing vessel was found drifting off the coast of Cape Verde in West Africa. 38 survivors were left in the boats which left several of them in Africa. The museum is closed to establish how many items are missing from its collection after revealing that the two of the boats have been stolen, they found gold jewellery and gemstones. The museum said a good member of staff had been... Very reputable uh, auction houses that will do due to the dealers. Oh. Can you bring the little shovel back? Right. Um, just discovered that the receiver that plugs into the camera got dropped on the floor before. I think it's still working. But um, it's showing it's showing working on the camera screen, but there's no screen on the receiver. So hopefully we can carry on using it without the receiver screen, which isn't that important. So there's what we're up to. We're going to have a quick break now. Alex is struggling today. I think he's got a... It's got a pretty bad cold, <clears throat> sinuses and all that, which isn't good. No one, no, no one likes working with a headache. So there, we're down. That's the last course. So we're down to the foundation. She's in there somewhere. And it's got plenty of room in the skip. Alex has been stacking it nice and neat. And these things are heavy. Probably heavier than a trench block. There's a lot of concrete in them. Plus the mortar attached to them. We're getting on for halfway and there's plenty of room in the skip, so time for a quick break and then back at it. Bit of time so we can listen to the radio. So see you after brew. Halfway. This is tough going. I can't explain how, how heavy these blocks are. He's doing well carrying them on his own. I can't lift them. I, all I can do is knock them over. But um, so far, we actually can't believe that there's no. F just get that bar, mate, and just stab it down there. That massive heavy wall is leaning because. Did you hear that? Give it a push, Al. Down. See that white mark? There you go, it's gone. That is soil. It's a six foot bar back. So we thought it had no foundation, but luckily we found a bit of foundation. So we're alright. <laughs> Look at that. But some people would dig that, and if that, never, if that stayed in the ground, they just assume there's concrete under it and build on top of it. That's the first bit of anything that resembles concrete we found under that. I'll just show you this, I'll just put it on Instagram and put a picture up. There you go, plump. Touches at the top. Got to be 90mm off at the bottom. So 90 mil at plum, leaning towards this extension, this extension next door. It, so it's, it's really it's not our customer's problem because it's, it's falling their way, and it's like it's a shared wall, which is very weird. 
So um, I'll have to speak to the customer about what he's doing with his floor. And if, uh, I'm pretty sure he's getting it redone because he sees that the uh, ports done at the back, the extensions all done. So I think he's working his way forward. New gates. So if this stuff's coming up anyway, we can take a load up and make it, make it easier for digging the found, redigging the foundation. And judging by that, it's going to be an easier dig than yesterday. Just soil. So, oh, this is the magic gate just hanging in midair. So yeah, we're going to get the rest of this down and we're going to, I think he's coming back at dinner. So we can have a chat with him at dinner and see what he wants to do. Because I don't really want to be bedding all this stuff back if it's getting redone. So we can just stone it up after we've finished. Throw a few bags of stone in it, a bit of MOT. So this man's being the right trooper because he's not well today. It's all work out for him anyway, which he likes. So yeah, that's the first one that's come up and took something up with it. That. Everything else has been onto nothing. Straight onto the soil. I can't believe that, I can't believe it's still as long as it has. So, yeah, I'll put you in a new position for the time lapse and we'll carry on. Mike's playing up. There you go. It's gone. Well, by one course that's got to come out yet, but we need to get rid of all that before we get the last course out. Alex is doing really well. But uh, the last few have come out with the bar, just brute force. Smack the bar, smack the bar in the hole and give wobble it. So, yeah, that's it. So we should have it all out and moved for dinner, and then we can start digging in this afternoon. I'm judging by what's underneath there, it's going to be an easy dig. <laughs> God, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, touch wood. But yeah. I'm going to change the battery on this camera because it's looking like it's yeah, 21%. So. so, there you go. That's the only tie, this angle bracket. That was the only thing tying it in. And um, it doesn't matter how many ties you put in, there's no foundation under it, it's going to move. I'm pretty sure that gate stopped it moving because it's just leaning against that gate.
The easy bit is knocking it down. It's been carrying all the box rounds down. Yeah. Use them muscles, eh? Mm -hmm. well, that's it. Ready? That was a long clip. There you go. Quarter past twelve, and it's gone. So gone for twelve o'clock. That was hard to knock down. It was doubly hard for Alex. He's done well this morning. Apart from about a dozen I've moved in the barriers, Alex has moved everyone by hand, and he's not well. He's done well. So now we know there's no foundation and we can take as much of this as we like, we can take a load up and start digging. We're going to just leave the flags in and just dig in under the flags to get the spread on the concrete. That's it, power tools are done with, well they were done with a while ago. And back to spades after lunch. Oh, see you in a bit. Back. Uh, Alex just turned the radio back up. Sorry chat, Clive, get back to you in a minute. Okay, Alex has uh, recovered a bit now, he was, uh, he was flagging a bit uh, after that morning. So we spoke to Matt the customer, everything sorted, we, we know our sizes, we know our heights. Uh, this is all coming out, all this. And we're going to block, we have one block return, which is going to be hidden behind the hedge and then he can get double gates across the hole then. I think he said eventually, he's, I think that's been future proofed for our downstairs toilet, like a small extension in this area. But for now he wants to get double gates across here. So um, I've worked out for a cube of concrete that'll get us 350 down, 350 wide, which is plenty for um, a 150 wide and a 140 wide wall. So the plan today is get this blitz, get this all dug out. I'm pretty sure it's got a hell of a slope going that way. So we'll get the laser out to check while we're digging. We'll just set the laser level and dip off the laser. And that's it, all this stuff that's coming out, sorry, all, I keep pointing, I've got the mic in my hand. So all that stuff you see along the floor there, because um, it's being redone, this is just lash it, get rid. So that's uh, that's ideal for us, that can go in the barra. So yeah, it's dig, 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 and uh, I'm never going to attempt to get concrete here today, I'm just going to try and get here tomorrow, because we're only up the road, so as soon as they say they're all coming, we can come, one, well, I can come down and meet them, level it out, and get that sorted. So yeah. Let's get this thing dug out. It's currently, what time is it Al? Well, half one. Half one. So, let's press clock. Yeah, half one. Half one. Right, let's get stuck in and get out of here.
I think we're just going to make this. The camera never picks it up really. But we're coming up for level with the top. But we've got our greedy boards, greedy stones in, so we can hopefully get another couple of foot in this. And we're probably about two thirds of the way across now. So, fingers crossed. It's about 20 past three now, we're both done. But we've got to just keep pushing and get this finished. Just done four, hasn't it? I've, uh, I've stripped that ply off this gate and I found out why it's got ply on it. Whoop. Uh, well, that didn't take much knocking down, did it? close one well there you go because we've got to dig and come around the corner there so we've probably got about three foot of dig to do and now I've got to all to get shut off so right let's get rid of this and get that dug and go home There you go. You'll have to bear with me with my voice. It's a bit uh, raspy. Oh, just been looking for that. Uh, but there you go. That is a wall taken down and a foundation dug. Hopefully, concrete will be here tomorrow. But it wasn't. It wasn't a tough day. But like, it was tough because of what I've got going on and tough with Dad's hip. But that, other than that, it was a pleasant day today. Excuse me. But um, yeah, that went pretty well. The whole wall was down for lunch, and this was just the rest of it. Oh, was that? Under the radio. Oh god, the wind's probably knackering my voice up, but. Showed in the bed. Oh yeah. I kept a piece to show them. There's the uh, foundation. foundation. Probably piece of toast is thicker than that so I won't end this video off yet because we'll be we'll probably finish this video off when the concrete's in so we'll catch you for the concrete maybe tomorrow maybe the day after we'll see either way see you when the concrete's coming You are happy with that, buddy? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Not one beat. Literally just had the neighbour come out next door asking how long, so <laughs> ask your time. <laughs> <laughs> Can I camera that? Yeah, go, uh, not a GoPro. Like a GoPro. Filming yourself. Yeah, you can film it. Yeah. One of your lasts, isn't it? Here we go, it's in.
that was quick and it was a cube which is always a relief when you get, get me, me sums right so I just need to get a bucket of water give next door's path a bit of a clean tamp it up check it for level but I think it's pretty close so that's one nice solid foundation now and they've not got beeped at once which is a shocker so I'm going to get cleaned up here and head back up to Alex get a bit of grinding done and then we can head off and buy the get the materials for the other job for tomorrow so um, luckily it's not rained yet, it's supposed to rain at 10 o'clock, but they've got it wrong again. So, um, I'm going back to the other job, but you'll see us back here. Who knows when, but we'll be here to build the wall and come back. So see you then. Now we're done. Cool. That's us all set for the next stage. See you then. <laughs> 